Well, good morning. I'm down in the shop again. Too cold to ride the bike. Travel restrictions. Shot photography in the foot. So I'm down in the shop. And last week I took my scraps and made a board. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to mill this down to 5 eighths. And I'm going to make some lattice trivets. So come along with me and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Well, the first thing we're going to do is run it through the planer. So put your ears on, let's get going. Okay, I got it down to 5 eighths, so it's slick on both sides. Next thing to do is lay out my pattern. That'll be the next project. First thing I'll do is take a piece of scrap and run a test board. Okay, I got it laid out here. You can see my layout lines. Where the X's are, that's where I'll cut my dados. Cutting the dados, same thing as doing the test board. I just put it on there, run it through. Okay. Drew some lines there so I know where the edge of my blade is. Just to make sure my blade's right. That's perfect. Potatoes. Okay, now I'm going to cut three quarter inch strips this way.
Okay, now it's just a matter of putting them together. So, oh, it fit nice and tight. So, get some glue now and uh, get going here. Put some glue out on a little piece of scrap here. using yellow glue instead of high glue because I got more work time so I just continue this process all the way across Not, not much to it. Now I gotta decide do I want to put breadboard ends on here. I don't know whether I do or not. I have to wait and see. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue the rest of this up. Well, there's what it looks like. The question is do I want to put ends on it? And I think I do. Put a little frame around. So I'll get to finding some wood here to frame it. I got my frame pieces made. Got the corners mitered. Now it's just a matter of putting some glue on there and then tack them on with uh, some pin nails. So. <clears throat> Okay, there's glue. Okay, I got my frame mitered. Putting it on. Glue the ends. And then take my pin gun and pin them. Then glue the other pieces and pin them. Well, now I'm going to sand it with a random orbital random orbital sander and uh, and put some oil on it and should be done uh, you won't be able to hear anything I'll have the air handling filter on as well as the sander be more noise than you can stand Okay, I got it sanded down. Now I'm going to take a little stick and wrap some sandpaper around it. And I'm going to sand in all the, the, the holes there. I want those smooth, I don't want them sharp. It doesn't feel right. So. That's the tedious part of the job. Going all the way around it. There's a lot of edges there. One, two, three, four edges on every hole.
There's a hundred edges. <laughs> all right, gonna get sanded. It's all sanded, signed and dated. Now I'm gonna put a little linseed oil. I'm just gonna put that on the top. And bring out the grain. Bottom, I'm going to spray a little clear mat acrylic. Let that dry. Put another coat of linseed oil on the other side, and we're set to go. Well, I started out with scraps. Didn't know what I was going to do with it. Glued them up, made a board out of my scraps, and got a nice little trivet there. Something like that would be a nice gifts for Christmas if you're into a little crafting and woodworking. A good way to use up your scraps. Hey, thanks for watching. And it's raining today. Won't be out on the bike. Won't be doing any photography, but uh, there's always hope. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Be sure to share and subscribe and you know thumbs up and all that great stuff and we'll catch you on the rebound. Bye now.